going on YouTube? Home time in the oil field. Today is Monday. I've been home for about, uh, what has it been, like 10 days now? Enjoying home time. You know, I was told out there in the oil field that us oil field drivers ain't got no life, can't go home, no days at home, you know, all that crap. I, I don't know what they're talking about. It's been the longest home time I ever had in all of trucking, so, you know. Three weeks on, one week off. In this case, I'm actually off for two weeks. So, definitely enjoying home time. Uh, the money is great. Home time is awesome. I know that guy right there. What am I finna eat today? I'm actually scrolling down the road looking for some good options to eat. I see Taco Bell over to the left. It may not be a bad idea. I don't want too much. Just a snack, you know, just some breakfast. I'm actually doing my taxes. Are you going to get over or not? The fuck? I'm actually doing my taxes today. And uh, it looks like the most I would owe, if I owe, is $350. I don't know yet because um, I'm trying to get my uh, my 1099 from Roadrunner. Uh, I guess I misplaced it. But I know... Um, my gross income from them is like twenty thousand dollars. I was on that for three months, um, and I couldn't find my last check from them. Not my last check, but my last settlement from them. But I could find one from uh, November the twenty second. Y'all know I quit on December the twelfth, so uh, the November check was like sixteen thousand. So that's why I said I only made probably about twenty thousand dollars. And when I put the 20000 in, in, um, the most I would owe was $350. So, I'm not tripping about taxes whatsoever. That's if I owe them. Now, if I, if I write some more crap off, <laughs> uh, the most I would get in the refund would be uh, 800 and I think it was like $817 maybe. So, I'm not tripping about taxes. Um... Everything's going good, right? But my taxes is due October the 16th. Uh, you probably want to know what was my biggest deductions. The biggest deductions, of course, was the uh, truck note, the trailer note, fuel, the uh, free for fuel, all the insurance, you know, all that stuff was like, uh, I think all that crap was like, um, with per diem, it was like $60,000 in deductions. So, yeah, a lot of money in deductions, right? That's if I want to deduct everything. I'm really just trying to uh, break even with the government, you know, zero. I don't want them to pay me anything, and I don't want to pay them anything. Uh, well, no, they don't need to write me no refund checks. Had them coming up out to me, trying to do some type of uh, uh, audit or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to pay no taxes. Not that I, now, don't get me wrong. Now, I'm not cheating on taxes. I, I got real deductions with real receipts, you know. But, uh, you know, I don't want no type of audit. I don't want to be out there in the oil field having to come back to fight the IRS or some crap. We're going to choose White Castle today. Going to go at the White Castle. Look know what they sell nowadays. Look like they got the uh, uh, couple of combos here. I'm over here by the Love's truck stop in Nashville, Tennessee. Still got the rent a car. <coughs> this rent a car definitely costs money now. Well, we're gonna go with the uh, mitts and match sit sliders, okay? Let's see what we can get. What type of sliders they got up there, boy. Yeah, hey, I'll take the uh, mid sits. Uh, I guess I'll smoke cheddar. Uh, 
please. That's all. 545, pull up, please. All right. All righty. Is this a business expense? Since I'm a home time, technically, no, it's not a, well, it's not a business expense. This rent a car is a business expense. No, I take that back. This is a business expense. Pay attention now. Why is this a business expense? The reason this is a business expense is because YouTube is a business, right? Uh huh. YouTube is a business, and I'm doing a YouTube video, so this is conducting business. Therefore, we must go with the business debit card. That's right. You guessed it. We are conducting official business. This is definitely uh, a write-off in the food department. Don't mind if I take my deduction at the White Castle. Y'all see the receipt, right? We're going to talk about this receipt in a minute. So, why did I use the business debit card instead of uh, paying in cash? It was like $5. Um, well, like I just said, it was a business expense. And, um... Trust me, at the end of the year, guys, it's much easier to print out the bank statements or to just go to your bank and have them print out, you know, all your transactions for the year versus me trying to hold their receipt uh, for a couple of years for the um, IRS, you know, in case of an audit. And plus, the ink on the receipt ain't even probably going to be no good anyway, so... I make my, uh, I, I don't use any cash out on the road. Everything I do is all debit. It's all card. You know, no cash whatsoever because, I mean, at the end of the year, guys, that is a nightmare trying to go through all them receipts. Some of the inked and faded. Oh, man, look at this super truck over here. Okay, I see him. Okay, is that somebody famous or something? Who was Toby? What kind of name is that? Toby. Anyways. So, I'll be on home time. Mm. Uh, I plan on leaving for Memphis probably tonight. Uh, probably going to stay there till like Wednesday. Probably get back out to the oil field. Maybe Thursday. Because, you know, Thursday start a uh, new pay week for us. Well, not Thursday, but Friday. But, you know. Either Wednesday or Thursday, I'll be back out there. You know, maybe I can make uh, maybe $500 for this particular week before Thursday, you know, just so I can have some steady income coming in. Um, that sounds like a plan to me. I actually just talked to um, some people at my job. Uh, they're actually not working right now. they on a new well. Uh, sounds like to me, ain't nobody recording you, girl. It sounds like to me that lasts well. I don't know. I, I guess it only. It, I guess it only lasted a week. Either that, or they never started on it. They probably had to um, just uh, build a whole new well location because it's been a week, and he's telling me they waiting for a new well to start. So I don't know what that's all about. Hopefully, they didn't sit there for two weeks with no work, right? <laughs> Because I know that rainstorm was uh, making it very, very difficult uh, to get anything accomplished. This rental car is pretty cool. You know, it's not the best. You know, I don't think it's worth no $20,000. I think it's only worth five thousand dollars at the most uh, at least that's all i would pay uh, it's got no type of get up and go you know i floor the pedal the car just make a whole lot of noise it ain't really moving i just don't see what the twenty thousand dollars is uh going towards and i know the engine is worth you know however much it's worth i understand that i'm talking about what i pay this man left his driver in over there call that free parking but I'm going to go ahead and end this video and uh, I guess I'll get back to you oh, when I get back to Memphis maybe unless I do something else in Nashville right